So there was one line specifically in the declaration that struck me, and it's the one right after the one we, ones we all have memorized. So I had not read this before, so this was all new to me. I didn't realize the fame of we're endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life and liberty and pursuit of happiness. It was the next phrase that says that governments are instituted among men to secure these rights, mm -hmm. deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. So that was the uniqueness of the United States, as I could see it. Now, my dad, very cool, he, uh, out on the job site where he worked, they're building an oil refinery, so a lot of dirt. He had a buddy who would fly to work every day, and, and uh, he had a, like a, I, I don't know, must have been an eight passenger plane. And he would fly in from another part of the island, from Puerto Rico. And, and when he would, before he would leave, he would get the road grader out and he would grade um, a runway for himself <laughs> to take off to go home, back to Ponce where he lived. And it would still be good and clean when he came back the next morning. No one would have disturbed it overnight. So uh, my dad would have this guy, he would pay him to fly us to these other islands. So on weekends, we would go visit the Dutch, French, British, yeah. um, independent islands. Oh, and, wow. and as we're doing this, I am looking for that magic, that spark that I remembered America being, and I wasn't finding it anywhere. That's one reason why I thought there's something unique about it. But this, that line about the governments are instituted to, in, to secure the rights endowed to us by the Creator. That whole formula just struck me. It just made so much sense that, that we have the rights endowed to us by an eternal being, and the government just has this role. Mm. That's, that is clear and important and essential.